What's going on champions? We are back in 2023. So I hope everyone had a good New Year's and Chrissy and all that sort of stuff. And everyone is competing at some and that's this week coming. So I'm not going. However, I need to do some well needed upgrades and a bit of maintenance to the wagon. So at the moment, I th the car's jacked up and I am going to pull the diff out of it. And we're going to change some diff gears in it. It's currently got 323s, which is okay, but it's not really the greatest either. So I thought we might change it up, either go 308s or 345s. Haven't really thought that much of which gear I really want to go, but I'm better off just pulling it out, sending it to the diff builder, see what he reckons, and then go from there. Either way, I've got both sets of gears here ready to rock and roll. But yeah. While the car's sitting here in the shed, I might as well do some maintenance and upkeep with it and upgrade. So we've got a couple of months of sitting around until I think my next comp's slide in the park. So we'll um, get her all ready for that and might even try and hit a test day in between now and Lardner the park. So, but anyway, enough chit chat, I'll get into it. Bolt there, bolt there, bolt there, bolt there, and the same on the other side. I've already done the car start bolt. And this thing should be pretty much ready to fall out. And that's how to get this on this shit too. Before it's out. Give it a good old clean and yeah. Anyway, I've got to get the swing in this manner because it's not going to fall out of the I wish it would fuck. Alright, let's go. just for information for myself uh, and if you have a pain in the ass dog that will eat anything inside try and put all your nuts and bolts back in where you found them that way one the dog won't eat them <laughs> and two you know where they go when you got to put the diff back in so I'm gonna go around put them nuts and bolts back in get all this shit off might drain the oil out of it and pull, oh no, I might leave the axles in it actually. But I'll drain all the oil out of it and yeah, then it's off to the diff man. And maybe, maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, he might be able to do it there on the day and I might be able to, you know, get a bit of info about all this sort of stuff, about all your backlash and all that sort of stuff because the simple fact that, oh, I fucking hate that shit. So this is why we send stuff to professionals, get them to sort it all out, that way you never have any dramas. I mean, for the sake of a couple hundred bucks, why stuff around, think you're doing it right, and then you end up with a drama. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Right here, guys, so was hoping to have the diff back this week, but it's not done yet, so what I am going to do is uh, pull my Bosch kit off and see what's going on with that. Because at uh, Spring Nats, I snapped my steering wheel. And I might put a little bit of a clip here somewhere. Oof. Oof. I've got to stop swinging off that gun so well. Yeah, snapped me uh, steering wheel, so I ended up getting a new one. Put it on straight. For Sunday and then Sunday after the skid it was upside down again so I think the Bosch kit might be a bit shagged or something like that anyway but yeah so this video is just going to be a bit of a mix match of whatever goes on but yeah it is what it is and then hopefully with the next one we will have the diff back in and plus a test skid and possible gender reveal for one of our oh one of my friends so yeah anyway 
Let's get to it. Yeah, so uh, at Spring Dance, I bent my steering wheel. Yeah, I bent my steering wheel doing too many swingings. And I put a new one on. And <laughs> after the Sunday skid, it was still upside down again. And I thought, what the fuck have I done here? Anyway, upon further inspection, I'm missing half the thread. No. So this is the old one. And this is the new one. See the new one's got plenty more thread in it. <laughs> Rightio, so that's one problem fixed and done. Um, turns out what it was was the old Bosch kit, the thread inside of his alloy, and it stripped it off onto the column. So quick brush, got it all off, put the new one on, steering wheels on, and ready to steer again. Which is good. So the I know this video is going to be a bit of a mashup, you know, of the diff pulling out and that as well. Couldn't really film much of the um, steering wheel side of things. I mean, at the end of the day, it's only steering wheel anyway. But yeah, so that's done. And yeah, the next video will be. Well, we're going to a car meet tonight, so I might get some footage of that and either add that onto this video or make another one. Make another video. I think I might make another video. And then it'll be get me diff back, put it in, and then in a couple of weeks, I think it's a couple of weeks anyway, we are doing a gender reveal for a mate. He's skidding his car, and then I'm going to take my car over and test it anyway. So that'll be another video in itself. But yeah, sorry about the upload, like the um, upload schedule. It's all over the shop. But when there's not much to be done, there's not much to be done, you know, so, yeah. But anyway, I hope you all have a good weekend. Australia Day's coming up, so don't get too pissed and carry on. And, yeah, anyway, I shall see you in the next one. See you guys.